After finishing this video, you will know how to create your own avatar using Ready Player Me completely for free, and then how to import the avatar into Unity using the Ready Player Me SDK so you can use it in your own experiences as well. If you want to know how to do the same thing with Unreal instead of Unity, then check out this video now. This video is sponsored by Ready Player Me. Ready Player Me is a cross game avatar platform for any digital experience. The avatars are used in over 7,000 applications already, including the VR chat, medium VR, live, and many others. And the mission is to have more open and connected digital experiences where you can create your avatar once and use it across all of these applications. To get started, you will need to create your Ready Player Me avatar on their website. Don't worry, I will link it in the description so you can sign in. Since I've been doing Ready Player Me stuff since 2021 already, uh, I have an avatar already here. But if you want to create a new one, you can actually go and create a new avatar if you don't have one already. So I have a couple of these, but the process is very simple. You go create avatar and then you uh, can define your gender. You can also use a image. You don't have to use one. All right, let's check out my image over here. So let's see how it looks now. And there we go. Yeah, it kind of looks not bad, actually. I don't like the hair too much. Uh, maybe it's like too, too clean. <laughs> So let's change this one here. I mean, you can change a lot of stuff. So you can, of course, change the skin colors. Yeah, I think this one is fine for now. And then you can even like change the facial structure, all of that stuff, which is really cool. And again, like you can go really wild, the eyes, the eyebrows, everything. I will now just showcase um, the hair and everything, but you can spend a long time in creating these avatars. So let's go to hair. And what is good here? Uh, and they have some crazy stuff in here as well. So this one is not bad, I would say. Uh, kind of looks like me a little bit, so that's perfect. I mean, I could really customize it to make it really look like me, but uh, that's, I guess, not the point of this video. So now we can uh, move on, enter the hub, and now this avatar is being saved, and now I have a new Ready Player Me avatar over here. So not so formal. Let's go back to home. And uh, yeah, this is really how you create all of these avatars. Super simple. You can uh, use it with the image, or you can just created by yourself completely. So now how do you get that avatar into Unity? Therefore, let's go to Unity and make sure you have the latest 2021.3 LTS version over here at the time of recording and uh, you can give it a nice little name. So uh, RPM setup or whatever you want to do and then create project. So there we are, we have a fresh new Unity project. Yeah, pretty empty, nothing going on. And now we need to import the Ready Player Me SDK, which you find in the Ready Player Me documentation. Don't worry, we will link it in the description below. In here, let me see, make sure you have the Unity LTS, of course, and then you need get installed, you will find the instructions here. And then you can basically very simply just take the um, code over here and go back into Unity. And now in here, you can go to the package manager and add a new package add package from good URL and that's really cool because it always makes sure you get the right package because now they can make sure that um, whatever they have in the website or the documentation is always up to date all right here we are now we have successfully installed the ready play me SDK you can now uh, decide if you want to help them improve their uh, um, the SDK by sharing the analytics let's just do so now and in here you can now decide if you want to check out a quick start sample uh, if you miss it at some point, you can basically go back to the package manager and then into the avatar loader or one of these. One second. Samples. Exactly. You can also import the quick start over here. Let's check it out real quick. There we go. Now we have the quick start installed. And in here, we can open up the folder and open the quick start scene. And it's basically, yeah, like I said, a quick start. So you can just jump in and play all around with the avatars and everything. So let's just hit play and see how it looks. Super simple, you can uh, move around with WASD. You can even jump. I don't know if you can, ah, you can even sprint. So it's basically like a, a third person kind of game. I don't know if there's anything else you can do, but that's uh, pretty awesome already. So you can already make a little jump and run game, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that is how you do it. Um, with the quick start. But now you see, okay, this is not the avatar that I just created. It's like just a random dude over here. And let's find out how we can get our avatar instead of this uh, random person here. And therefore, let's go back to our dashboard in the uh, Ready Player Me website. And then in here, you can go and 
go to my avatars and then select the one you want to have and then copy the GLB URL. That is the one that we need. And now we already have it copied. We want to go back to Unity. And now in here, let's just put it into the quick start for now. We go to uh, ready play me avatar and then there we go. Here we have the avatar URL. Let's just paste it. So now this one should load ours instead of this person over here. Let's check it out. And three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, it's <laughs> almost the same, but you saw the change in hair. So that is uh, pretty cool. So that is the one that I just created. And yeah, has the same capabilities. This is how you get your avatar into Unity. Super, super simple, right? So now let's also talk about how you can get your avatar into your own scene and not just the uh, sample scene of the quick start here. So therefore we can basically go to uh, any kind of scene. So let's just open our sample one, this one here, and then we can go to Ready Player Me, Avatar Loader, and then in here we can paste the same URL and then load avatar into the current scene. There we go. And three, two, one. Yeah, there we go. And now we have it. So this is also a yeah, non-animated, very simple uh, import of your avatar. Now you can get crazy. You can do all of these things. You can add multiple avatars. You can do anything you want to. Here you have the animator as well and you can really go all in. Let's for example go to the controller and here we have the Ready Play Me avatar already so this one should give us some basic animation already let's hit play and check it out and we see it's not in the t-pose anymore so now he's i think like it's like an idle position already and uh, yeah that's it how you can do it you can also now add your own animations using mixamo we also have videos on that one you can check out over here and you can do all kinds of crazy animations and really cool stuff cool this is it for the video let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else you want us to cover again for the unreal video you can check out the video over here and thanks so much for listening and as always i see you in the next one